Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. We're going to take a look at something that we <laughs> saw at uh, one of the Samsung events. It's the Samsung Galaxy Gear VR. And this is, uh, we saw the uh, Samsung announcement of this mm -hmm. and kind of Mm -hmm. Scratch your head a little bit mm -hmm. because you hear all of the kind of asterisks involved here. Uh, you know, obviously it's a it's a well built VR headset. I don't have a whole lot of experience with VR headsets. But you but need a Galaxy it's Note. It's pretty solid to you go. Need a in Galaxy it. Note Four. Now that's not that's as weird as it sounds because the Oculus Rift uses Galaxy phones for its display. Mm -hmm. In fact, this says with Oculus Rift inside. Right, this is a partnership with Oculus, actually, you can kind of see. Right. so. Uh, looks similar, I, I think, similar to the Oculus headset. Except it's not uh, black, it's kind of cooler. Right. It's definitely a little bit more And bold. it's a lot cheaper, because you don't have, yes. you supply the Note 4. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You supply the thing that, that's really powering. It's doing all the work. This is just really a holder. Yeah, exactly. It's $200. You can buy it in the U.S. Uh, Jason Cleanthus. I don't know if bought you it? You bought it? Shoulder. He's uh, got a note. Oh, oh, there He's we go. Okay, Jason so Cleanthus bought this. Show from us the, the controls. Store. I see that it grips fairly tightly onto the Note 4 in the front there. So you've there. got the little touch pad on the side. Ah, this cool. is how you do your navigation, or, or actually when you're playing games and everything, you can swipe and, there's a and back use it button as like above a, it. a navigation okay. uh, directional pad. There's a button up there that goes back, so that'll take you back. And it's a little bit, you know, I, I played around with this for 20 minutes. Basically, this is more of a preview than an actual review because Jason got this today. He came over, he's like, do you want to play with it? And I played around with it, strapped it on my head and uh, got lost in the experience. It was actually it was that very good? cool, very, very Can cool. Can I try it? Uh, yes, you it's, may. Is it geared to your uh, brain cells or can I just? Oh, you can just pop it on. This is the view I'm gonna yep. see here. Um, we have it streaming to Chromecast right now. Okay, so yeah. so the first thing. Uh, so you'll want to uh, look, you know, line up the pointer on no and, okay. and just tap the touchpad. He said, oh, breaking news, Apple and Google are tracking your every move. What? Oh, that's... What? <laughs> that's not comforting. What? That was the breaking news? So there you are. Okay, you're... now I'm uh, looking at the planet. You're looking at the planet. Oh. There you go. I really like this look. Up, Ooh. down, all around, everything. It's totally immersive. That's the problem, though, with wearing these is that while you're enjoying this totally immersive experience in your head, to the rest of the world, you look like a moron. Yeah, it's true. Another thing I noticed is that Whoa. you want to get, you want to do exactly what you're doing right now, Whoa. right? Like Wait, you want to move around. It got dark. What happened? Oh, the problem is you oh, can't see anything movie. that surrounds you. Oh, it's so a new it'd movie. So it'd be very easy to just like bonk your head. Well, something. you should sit down when you're doing. Yeah, it. and actually, I found being oh, in a my swivel gosh. chair to be a really good. I can good see a hey, there you behind go. me. They even have a shadow. Yeah, you have a shadow. Holy Isn't cow! Cool? So this is amazing. It, it is really cool. I think. Now I've used the Oculus Rift. This is actually. Is, is it using the full high-res display on the Note 4? It's using the Look, the, I'm sitting in somebody's display. tent. But you know, it's Hello, splitting people. the resolution for you, basically. Now, isn't this cool? This is, I'm in this a is Tibetan you sitting tent. In the, this is incredible. Isn't it awesome? So, wow. And this is also kind of showing you the power. We heard not too long ago about Samsung's upcoming 360-degree uh, ca recording camera. Right. It's kind of what some of these are. It's a camera in the middle of a room. And that you that I kind of like. Like this is Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Now I, I like this because I'll tell you a couple of things what, that I like about it. Uh, I'm not getting as seasick as I did when I played yeah. played games. I think it's because you're static. Look up, look up. And you're just looking around, right? Yeah. And it's super immersive, yeah. very impressive. Wow. So um, just to give a sense of some of the hardware here, of course, the, the Note 4 is driving most of this with its Snapdragon 805 processor. Sure. The Gear VR headset itself, it comes with 16 gig micro SD card slot, or card with content. There's, so there's an SD card adapter um, and a zipper case, which is in the box that I have on the table here. The phone obviously snaps into place on the front, as you saw. There's headphones that you can uh, wire right into your ears. I'm hearing you audio, yeah. You, although if you don't have that, there's onboard speakers, um, okay. which were okay. I wouldn't say they were amazing speakers. I gotta tell you, the res is not yeah. super, it's not 1080p, I would guess it's 720p, right? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the resolution of the Note 4 is 2560 by 1440. Right, but it's not using all that. I could see pixels. So oh, you could go down to Temple it. VR and then I your get touchpad. It. What should I do, Temple uh, VR? Do the, yeah, do is this Temple... going to make me sick? Yes. Okay, get the cold washcloth is, ready to put on the back of is, my head. I, I, I installed oh, this while I was using it and played my. it a little bit. And as it was going, I was like, God. okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's so a little this, weird. This is Temple Run. So this is Temple and, Run for uh, VR. I uh, see that there but, are some controls. I won't be using the ones on the left. I'll just be using the jump. 
The yeah. touchpad, okay. Yeah, not the button on top. Jump of the tap. left, right, and s okay. I think I'm ready. Now getting started. Oh my God! This okay. is. I'm already. S take the. Oh okay. yeah. Once you get moving, it's going to be crazy. So oh. okay. Now once you get this, just start start swiping oh. forward to run. Oh run! Uh, run! See. For some reason, it's not working. It's not. Double not. tap it. Oh, double tap. Oh, it. thanks. I Sorry. got eaten. That's okay. You you get this. Jeez, nom nom leathery. I mean, that's, wow, that's an important this is part cool. of the experience. So tap it to run. Uh, apparently. They don't do a good job of telling you that. But Okay. Well, I, I looked at the instructions, but I, of course, didn't read them. Okay. Run! So there you go. Okay, now. This is totally. Okay, now you don't need to tap anymore. You're just moving. Oh. So you're just going to swipe left and Holy right now that you're on the track. Okay. Oh, you know, it should sense your head movement instead of. Uh, me having to swipe, right? Yeah. I, it know, would be I'm nice sure if it better, did that. Better examples of, of this. Oh. Kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> this is immersive. It is immersive. It's immersive. It's a little Ooh, I didn't jump. I got to jump. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're right behind you, man. You're, they're really behind me? Oh, yeah. That shadow is them. That's them? That's them. That's not me. They're, they're on you. Oh! No, you're a dude. Jump. Oh, I didn't jump. Well, okay. Hey, this is kind of fun. It is. Um, I have to say one of the things that really blew me away, and I'm not sure exactly how to get to it because Jason was the one that got me there, was something called A Moment with Patrick Watson. And it's an artist, a musician, in his studio environment with the 3D camera set up in the middle, and he's just kind of sitting at the piano, kind of producing music. See, I think that's a very interesting use. And you get... You're, I mean, there. you're there. You're you there. are there sitting yeah. in the room with him while he's making music. It's really impressive. Uh, but I would agree. The display, you see some of the I would like. Yeah, it's very pixelated. But that was, so was the Oculus Rift. Now, I haven't seen the new Oculus Rift, which and they showed at CES. Man, but. when they start doing, like, quad HD on this kind of stuff, can you imagine it's going to look It's going to look even better? I think the human anatomy has to, has to adjust. <laughs> it's to okay. Come back to us, Leo. Come back that to you us. Could, uh, what, I mean, this is uh, very... Um, what? You, do, you don't look funny at all. You, no, you look no, 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 no. Perfectly normal. No. Like, I feel like this is a good look for you, Leo. I must have hit something. I got it. Uh, there, there is content store inside with tons of free content. Most of it's kind of like demo, demo content, but it gives you a real sense of, of the power of. Now, it. I back out trailers. by pressing the back out button. Okay. Uh, so the top button will back. This it is out. actually, you know what? Exit to Oculus Home. Yes. Yes, yeah. this time, right? Yep. And then, um, this is, you know what, this is, I'm very interested, Strangers with Patrick. This is the one you were talking about. Uh, Patrick, yes. Yeah. Do that. That'll put you right in the middle of his music production space. I, I got that's lost That's amazing. In it. I got lost in it. Well, you're a music him. guy, right? Yeah, and I, I was like, I want to know what he's recording with on the so computer. So that's what's most interesting about this stuff. Is a dog sitting on the floor. Is an immersive environment. It's like, a static camera, but it's a 360-degree camera, I guess. So you so. could look, yeah, entirely. Up, yeah. down, all around, back, front. Yeah. And you're there, and he's just, you know, he's doing his thing. Now imagine if this were live video, which it could be, and I could, could interact be. with him. Completely. Could, Completely. That would, I think now we're in a very interesting kind of uh, space. Uh, yeah, it kind of gave me chills at this yeah. point. Um, so very cool stuff. There's a lot of content. I I mean, there's there's a lot of demo content. I'm, I'm, I'll be curious to see how how much content gets pushed through to this but being that it's a, a cooperative effort with oculus you know i imagine all the development that's happening with oculus is going to kind of roll over into this and samsung has specifically said in interviews they aren't interested in this being a quote unquote viable product it's not a product it's not a, a, product. Product. It's not a, it's not a profit proof of concept this yeah. is if people buy it are now willing to spend their money on it do they enjoy it do they show it to their friends if so we'll spend more time developing for it I think it's very interesting. I do too, and and I, and I had you know I was a Kickstarter uh, supporter of, of uh, Oculus Rift. I had the development kit. I've used uh, several generations of Rift. This is very productized. This is easy to use, and it's very uh, well built. I well have built. to say, it's you comfortable. You have to have a Note Four. That's going to limit the market a little hey, bit. Hey, I just dropped my Nexus Six. What should I do? <laughs> I would steal Jason's Note Four. Here, let me see if I can get it out. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. I was I was actually. Um, more blown away by it than I think I expected. Not because yeah. I doubt VR, because I think VR is very cool, very interesting. Uh, but I don't know. You, you put those goggles on, and I realized I everyone watching, really cool. it's kind of hard to understand the, the level of awe that you get when you're surrounded in that experience. It's really cool. Yeah. And I've been skeptical, cause, especially because yeah. of the, uh, the motion sickness thing. Mm -hmm. But that one is better than uh, the ones I've used previously. Mm -hmm. At least I didn't get sick yet. 
do you feel like you're back to reality now? Or it's disorienting. Yeah, I'm I back. Need to take it off. I want to go. I want to go headache, back. Actually, after 20 minutes, I don't well, know if it's that was, you know our you know. biology is not designed to work with this at all in yeah. so many respects. But uh, yeah, cool stuff. You know, as somebody who read Snow Crash and wants the metaverse, this is a step in that direction. Thank you, Jason Howell.